Hello there. If this thing is on, yes, it's on. Today we're gonna disassemble this because it's broken. And it's not only that it's cracked, or it's not button. It's, yeah, it's entirely gone. So I'm gonna disassemble it. Wow, I've opened it. And look here, we have a soldering iron, and here's some tin. The first thing I shall do is remove the battery. This. This tin is not the good smelling one, I think. Oh, yes, that's awful. Perfect. Let's just load the tip with it. Just wash it. Soldering tin does everything. It it adheres. It's and it's also used for cleaning the tip. So yeah. Working here. Don't. Don't. It really is a multi-purpose material. Specialized in in the industry. There we go. So. It's pretty thin that. It smells horrible. And let's... Uh, Actually, wait, let me show you here. Oh, shit. This is how it looks. Also, God, I'm not prepared today. Hey! Oh no, did I change the dial? Ah, oh, fuck, I moved the sensor. Ah! Uh, let me just go over to current control amp, please. There we go with the voltage. There we go. Voltage. Yeah, there we go. That'll be probably be fine. Put that away. Whatever. So. Maybe now I can show you a better light. So what we do have here is a processor. I think that's flash. And this I think this is RAM because it's warm and the device is on. This is not warm, the flash. And the device is on. So yeah. A crystal there, and I have no idea what I'm looking at in general. <laughs> Some other crystal there. That looks like the crystal for the processor. Maybe it's one of those MEMS oscillators. 0 0.D2. No, wait. Some crap on it. It says. D24.00 new line T3H I've no idea what that means but I think that's the processor clock running at megahertz or something maybe it's 
4 gigahertz. And this other one here, this capsulator one, which I will bend up shortly. Maybe. Oh, it was glued down. Uh, yeah, there we go. And that, uh, that's probably a regular watch crystal oscillator. I, I guess. But what I thought was funny when I opened this is that it's made out of modules, like even this SD card thing here, it's it's a separate circuit board soldered on the actual jack. And then the Bluetooth and I guess Wi-Fi is just slapped on top. So it's basically built out of modules. I assume the screen is also, or well, the screen driver is also somewhat separate or integrated onto the main board. Probably here at the top. Anyway, let's protect our iron and make the room smell like hell. And, uh, I don't know, let's start with the negative because that's, that's the most accessible one. Can I somewhat do this in frame? Or so you can see. We'll try. Let's see here. You can't see much of that at all. By the way, I need some sort of implement to lift it away. Fuck it, scissor. Scissor it is. This is this is but no, no, like no. Um, I need something somewhat safer. Oh yeah, sure. Fuck. Damn it. Good enough. Probe. So that's the negative. And this Capton release. There we go. So the device is now dead. Dead. Now, to remove the battery, this will be fun. Um, it's glued down, which is fun. Can I like use paper and just like, saw it in there? in the glue. It's ripping the paper. That's fun.
think I have a problem there. Yeah? Unless Mike Rich, I will. About cannibalizing one of these gift bags. It's kind of thick paper. I don't know. If anything, the double folded top would be the strongest. I can just remove that. Yeah, let's just cannibalize this little thing and see if that works. If that doesn't work, I will go and get a tool. Let's see if this will work better. I mean, let's, let's get that edge, this plastic edge here out of the way. Uh, where's my tools? Where are my tools at? Where my, where, where, where are my tools at? Are they in this bucket? The tool I need is in this bucket. Ooh. I think. Maybe. Perhaps. Hopefully. Eh. Oh, come on. Maybe. Yeah, that works. That's one. There you go. Plastic piece out. Which means I can now maneuver this thing over here and go a more sensible path. Oh god. How does it look? Oh, it's whole! It's still whole! A okay, let's get this pad of crap out of the way. I said out of the way. I said Good enough. Bear in mind, this is the first lithium battery I'm removing from a device that's glued in. So, also this is what I'm doing. Maybe.
Well, it's definitely loose. But I think I need to get this motherboard out of the way. Or like fold it somewhere. Maybe if I disconnect this and jank this off, maybe I can just fold it all up. No, connections. Um, I've definitely loosened something in there. And this edge is still fine. So I'm gonna Sticky. There you go. It was. It was like that. Uh. So yeah, who knew? Paper. Literally. Piece of paper. Well, thick paper, fill with glue, fold it over. There you go. Safe tool. And it's not even bent. Well, maybe it's a bit skewed, like that way. Yeah, it is a bit. Yeah. I have no idea how to remove the rest of this. Uh, I'm too afraid to use any metal tools. Like, hell, this is aluminium foil to my knowledge, so... <laughs> Nervous laughing dot JPEG. Hey, it works for this too! <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't bend it. Okay. I mean, I say I'm not willing to use metal tools, but I'm willing to use my nails, which is, I mean, kind of on par with hardness with some at all, so... Yeah. Let's just say human rules of thumb aren't that accurate. Hence when Y is under emotion one tends to make bad decisions because of bad rules of thumb. I mean, I gotta try. So let's be really careful. Oh, uh -huh. Oh, if, is there like any ridge whatsoever? The metal tool just gets 
caught in it instantly. Mm -hmm. yeah, let's do it over here. It's a bit safer. Ooh. Okay, yeah, uh, metal, yeah, no. 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 No metal tool. It just, no. That makes me uncomfortable. That does destroy the edge. But it does remove quite a bit of the adhesive. I guess it's double-sided tape because there's adhesive and then there's like a paper-ish paper weave and then more adhesive on top. Sadly, the zoom and uh, the focus on this camera is crap. But yeah. Mm -hmm. There we go. Battery, which I will, which does have a protection circuitry. It's marked 2012. <laughs> Another thing I wanted from this thing was the speaker. So I shall grab that now. Oh wait, it's under a bunch of captain tape. How the fuck? Okay, let's just go over here. Ooh! Rest in peace, that ribbon cable. Um, it will be forever missed. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh god, shit's breaking. Shit's breaking. Or did it? No. No. Nothing broke. Uh. Ah, that's captain tape from underneath. Okay, I see. So I should do that. Do. Okay, rip. Can I? Let's loosen some of these. Is this one of those you lift up? Push out? Or... Do I just jank it out? What the fuck is this connector? Dear connector, how do I open you? Like that. Nice. That's one, two. So, oh, I guess this is the Wi Fi antenna. Can I? Am I delaminating it? No. Okay. What I assume is the Wi-Fi antenna and Bluetooth antenna is out.
Oh, nice. You can actually see it's, uh, what? Hmm. Okay, yeah, I have not going to question any of that. I'm just going to say, yeah. is preventing this from lifting oh The screen is fucked anyway, so... That went better. Whoop, whoop, okay. Oh, I see screws. Maybe I should have paid attention to that earlier. Can I grab this little thingy here? Which is smaller and thus a better fit. I mean, sometimes oversized screwdrivers work as well. It's nothing guaranteed. Depends on the sharpness of the, of the actual tip. Like I think I have um I think I have a screwed up over here. No I don't, anyway. I have like a normal size screwdriver. Like about that long. With uh, with a bit that is about Yeah, I mean take the bit was about that size, minus like 10%. And it still worked down to screws of this size. Because it was a really, really, really sharp one. It was really pointy. But yeah, now this more moves more easily. Christmas, yes, there, of course. Of course there's a screw underneath. A layer of glue and hidden away. Of course. Of course, because why would you ever want this piece of shit repaired or maintained in any sort of way at all? Oh my god. Replacing this as adhesive, which you would need to do if you would go in here and do maintenance, would kill this cable. I'm pretty sure this cable is going to be dead bef before I'm done here. Oh my god. Hey, look at that. Maybe that's why. They have Captain Tape packing it in from underneath as well. How kind of them. That's an asshole move. 
I mean, it's kind of understandable, but it's an asshole move for repairability. But then again, this thing was not designed for repairability. Can I get this piece of crap off? Yes, I can. Can I get the rest of this tape as well? Half of this. It's just. Oh, that's the camera. I actually hope it's not damaged now because I kind of want to interface with this. That's a tiny ass camera. Wow. Yes, more screws. Yoink, uh, no, come on, yoink. Whoop, slide. Okay, that is not working. What the fuck? Hey, screw, how about you turn like you were designed to? This thing doesn't want to come out at all. It's in there. Okay, now it's going. There you go. I'm going to add a little bigger one here. This will be a lot easier. He said slipping. There we go. I think that's all the ships, uh, the screws, I mean. <laughs> no, there's something holding it in around here, which is ironically around the headphone jack. Is this why the headphone jack got exterminated? Because it was hard to repair? Or is it because I missed these screws, perhaps? Let's see if these sideways panel screws on the outside of the device change this. Oh. Fuck. Ship. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Will it come out now? No, also, let's open this connector for the screen. And let's fold that out. Oh, well, there you go. And that cable there is probably backlight. I may have no idea what I'm looking at. Ooh. Is that? Oh, no. I first thought they put, like, some compound on here. Oh, wait, is that the board? Or is that the tape on the board? Okay, it's the tape on the board. But yeah, I thought it was um, some kind of goop on here. But no, it's just been covered with Captain tape. Anyway, let's get this screen out of here. What's holding you down, little screen? Is it more captain?
it's more capital. You saw it before I did, it, I think. Like half of this device's weight is just adhesives. Yeah. It's display frame, which is very sharp on the edges. Ooh. Ooh, it's so thin as well. Oh, this is, yeah. Careful around that. Here's the broken screen. With backlight still connected. Let's just desolder all of this. Not even gonna, actually I am gonna protect the iron. I don't give a fuck about it, boy. I do give a fuck about my tip on the iron. It needs protection from the oxygen. One, two, screen is free and it's now completely not in the picture. And then we have the speaker. One, two, one. There you go. I'll say that. And here is some broken glass. Ah. This glass is also what contains the touch interface. Kind of amazing that they are actually transparent. But there are thousands of little wires going through the screen. Even though you can see through it. Sadly, it's cracked, so there's no touch. And that was the volume. And stuff. The buttons. Yeah, otherwise, I'm just looking at a plastic frame. But yeah, I got the. Well, maybe damaged camera. And a speaker. And a battery. Which is over there. Maybe a headphone jack, maybe some surface mount buttons, if I can be asked to use them. Maybe I maybe reuse this CPU for something. Yeah, no, um, I can't do BGA soldering. Or whatever grid soldering this is. Hey, an external board with buttons. I'll steal that. Yoink. That's awesome. Mm. And then there's some fairly big SMD components I guess we could steal. And then there's the Bluetooth slash Wi-Fi radio here. That's That would be interesting to get off. 
How would I get it off? Plot one side. Maybe. Um. Maybe I shouldn't taste into that and just take one of these diodes, I guess. I think these are diodes. SS14. That's what they say. Oh, that's tiny. And this is a big SMD part. Like, excuse me, what in the fuck? Can I get grip? Yo, mate. I mean... Eh? Let's try that capacitor, I guess. No. For fuck's sake, I'm, I've sold her on both of pads at the same time. Oh, now it comes out. Yeah, that's that's perfectly what I want to want. Anyway, that's off the board. <laughs> uh, let's grab this watch crystal, I guess. That was easy. I have no use for this, but I'll grab it. Bigger scampi shoes there is. Which leaves them vulnerable. But no one cares, do they? I just realized, like, for anything more than like two pins, I need a hot air station, which I do not have. Uh, let's try this extension board that the SD card sits on. See if we can like that. Let's see. Yes. Perfect. Hmm. Um. Well, that's that little thing. Let's see what it says. E eight two nine A E eight two nine A dash SD New Line seven point seven eight one point two eight five New Line version comma no colon Yeah colon zero one New Line PCB equals one point zero mm millimeters so it's one millimeter thickness, I guess. And then a symbol five U. 
94v-0 in a triangle new line ca-f1 to 1 and that's about it they do have everything labeled in test pads though like SD-D2, SD-D3, SD-CMD, SD-CLK, ground, SD-Depth. Then they got SD-VCC, SD-D0, and SD-D1. So yeah, they, they got every pin label here, which is really nice. I might use this. And this button array as well, and this camera as well, and this speaker as well. Um, let's jank this miniature shielded cable off. It's soldered on two points, if you can see, at the shield and further up. The thing is, it's the same piece of copper and I don't know maybe they're just the same on the board I have no idea let's see if we can get this Bluetooth thing off now let's jam Let's just lay a bunch of solder over everything. So that doesn't have any flux in it. I will be on here. We don't care. And then we're just gonna pour solder in there. And we slurped some components off the board. Perfect. However, as you see, I did just get it to lift. But you might not see, I have no idea. This camera is kind of bad. Ah, okay, it's labeled on the underside. Oh, and I lost a pad. So I lost a pad and I lost a component. And the component is in this mix here somewhere. I assume. Oh, I found it. And I banged the fucking tip against the table. Don't do that ever. However, I did say I needed to like tighten up the tip a little bit. So let's uh, oh no. let's do that real quick. I don't have a good way to do it. Just a way, just like that, which fucks up your table a bit, but it works. And let's just clean that. Just the board as a cleaning pad. That works marvelously. Um yeah. Ow. Oh. The board sinks heat. 
quite fast. Wow. Ooh, yeah, everything's really warm. Ah, uh, preheat. <laughs> I'm like, oh, maybe I should grab that, this headphone jack, but then I'm like, yeah, why, you're gonna destroy it in the process. So I'm just, oh, color. And there's not much of interest on the side. Well, define def depends on how you define interesting. I mean, time matched wiggly curves can be very interesting to look at. And be like, hmm. Yes. Hmm, all of those are around the ships. Not so much around the processor. Interesting. Anyway. That's it. I managed to get what I think is a Bluetooth Thing, which does have like a little diagram of what should be where. Can't really see, and I'm, I'm sorry, but the focus on this is shit up close. Yes, yeah, it's ground ground. Well, ground D plus D minus 3.3 volt ground antenna. And it was connected to that. Little thing. We have the speaker. Board of three buttons. The maybe damaged camera. SD card breakout. Yeah, it's a SD card breakout. <laughs> And that was about all the goodies. Oh, yes. And the battery. Ooh. Markings. Markings, markings. PL-3295100 P3600 milliamp hours. 3.7 volts. There you go. Well, as good as the focus allows it. And that's about it. And I shall sign off now. Oh, sorry, collect all the junk. <laughs> And of course, the that thing. Yes, that's uh, that's all I can be asked to salvage from this thing. Maybe I can salvage the uh, the meshing there. I mean, let's let's just try to do it. Yeah, it works.
Yeah, there you go. I don't know if this is plastic or metal. It's it's plastic. It's like nylon. Kind of feels like nylon. Uh, ah. Yeah. Uh, it might fall off. Oh well. Yeah. Put that on the SD card. Move those components into a pile. Hey look, more trash. Oh yes, we also grabbed a 32.768 kilohertz oscillator, I think. I think that's a watch crystal oscillator. Uh, but yeah. Oh no, I just put my hand... Oh no! Oh, I put my hand in a bunch of lead. Well, tin. Solder, yes. That's the word. Solder. I should make a pile of solder and push it over here. But yes, um, that's all I had. Oh yes, maybe I should tell you what kind of tablet this is. Um, or was, I should say. This was a DM Tech model, oh, and, and this is them saying it, it's model colon tablet 814LE, input DC 5 volts, 2 amps. This one in particular was, was from batch number 29968.78. Made in public, in the public, public republic of China, I guess the sea is. Imported by NetLogic. Yeah, that's probably related to my country. That last part. Anyway, now I have a bunch of e-waste. I'm going to recycle it. Goodbye.